So you have a very interesting war with France and the Netherlands. Uh, you know, I thought that I, I didn't expect this. I, I felt like a lot of the Europeans, a lot of the big Europeans, uh, as well as kind of the major powers in this world, like the USA, Russia, Great Britain, uh, France, including, I figured they wouldn't expand that much, but, but we're seeing that here. Or at least you would think that France would be expanding on the Netherlands, but that is not actually happening. Um, and I don't know why. Maybe it was because, well, technically Poland is involved in the war, but I don't know. I mean, Poland has 49,000 men just chilling in their own territory, so I don't really know exactly how this is going to go. It does seem like the Netherlands are making progress, even though a lot of these are probably sieges of non-forts. Oh, actually, Paris is, they only have one fort, and that's in Paris, so they, and they have that one fort, which is their capital, which is really bad. Wow. Uh, dang. And that's actually not their trade capital. That's interesting. What, where is their trade capital at, then? Oh, there it is. Boom. Provence is their trade capital. Oh, I didn't even know. Okay, that must be an extended timeline sort of thing, because the AI usually doesn't separate their capital to their trade capital, but I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's that's quite fascinating. Also, over the break, I realized that... Uh, I realized that, you know, someone like Australia actually does have a chance. Now, it, it, it sucks that, you know... Well, anything that unifies here in this region is going to be tough, but Australia certainly has a chance of going towards these islands here. Um, that that would be, you know, they could they could try something uh, because all they need to do is remember share one tile. So this this gulf here would be enough for them to you know reach off or at least fabricate a claim, which I don't think they need to fabricate claims. I'm pretty sure they all have probably like imperial you know cast. Actually, I don't know. It's 2028. Who knows what type of you know castes bellies they have? Uh, but I, I'm sure they can figure out a way to go to war and and take some provinces. Whether no, no matter where, I guess it might be. So, um, yeah, I, like I said in the intro, I, I'm very shocked. I'm really, really shocked that we're going to see, like, kind of great powers. And, and they're just starting. I know that seems weird. Uh, the reason why I say I, I wasn't expecting a lot of great powers to, to go after and be super aggressive early on in this campaign was I figured... They're already big enough. I, I, fi I figured we'd see the biggest movement and, and the most uh, aggressiveness. Most of the aggressiveness coming from... Oh, I didn't realize Egypt had taken over so much of Libya. Um, most of the aggressive aggressiveness coming from, like, medium-sized countries. That's what I expected. I guess I should have made myself more uh, specific when I say, you know, why I didn't think some of these great powers would, would be expanding. I figured they would expand. I just didn't think that they would be uh, getting noticeably more powerful uh like we see medium nations are like specifically like iran oh my gosh they're doing such a good job uh and if they continue to you know expand like this i mean they're gonna be good they've got a really broken down um kind of region just off to their east so they can maybe take these guys these countries on one by one they there's not very many alliances i mean yeah this is this would be easy pickings and then eventually the gold mine uh get ready get i mean pack uh, iran, iran has to get ready for india if they get ready for that, then they're going to be good. Uh, if they can, it, but they got to, you know, they really have to blob out here and uh, and then, you know, prepare themselves and then, you know, hope that China. Oh, and you know what? China is in a dual war, uh, pretty much with the nations of the south of of south uh, Southeast Asia, and actually they pieced out Vietnam, so they're going to be pretty good now. Wow. All right, India, you need to step up your game. I know you took over Sri Lanka, but that's not going to be enough. That is not going to be enough. Let's go ahead and check on the current wars that are currently going on. China, yep, China's got 82% war score. Uh, that's pretty easy. Egypt and Morocco, okay, that one just popped up. I don't know who is given as Algeria. I, Algeria is technically allied to Egypt. Um, that doesn't really mean much because they probably don't have... Niger or Libya giving them military access, but you never know. I mean, they could always use their boats. That's something that I, I do tend to forget sometimes. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see if anything happens. Uh, in the last video, we saw pretty much Mexico get slapped back to their normal region. Uh, that actually gave a lot of control back to Pan Panama. They might be able to do something against maybe Honduras or actually, you know what? One of these nations just got kicked out. El Salvador is looking pretty dang good. That was quick too. That was real quick. Sudan and Syria. Uh, we knew about that one. Niger is facing Nigeria and a whole plethora of countries from Africa. That will be good to watch. Uh, Greece is Greece and Albania. Now, did Greece take anything? They, they were at war with, I believe, Montenegro. And uh, did they manage to take anything? Uh, they, they don't look that much bigger. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on them. Oh, Albania. Oh, that's sad. Albania. As, well, they have, they have the help, help of Romania, but we'll have to see. That seems like it's going to be pretty one-sided. Um... Albania and Romania have both kind of grouped up their, their troops together, but I don't think that that will save them. 
but who knows? I mean, I mean, who knows? Turkey's been really quiet so far. That's a strange one. They're also allied to some strange nations. Romania and Poland wouldn't expect that sort of thing. Uh, we, we should also check on some of the map modes. I know I haven't been really looking at these map modes. Wow. Okay, so I think this might be just a complete mess. Um, wow. Okay. So this is, like, all over the place. I, I don't know if this is right because Sunni, Shia, Hindu, Orthodox... Catholic, Protestantism, because these lines are supposed to represent, I thought, no, I think that might be, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed crack, I, I have no idea, but uh, that is interesting, we'll have to see how much the religion in the map, in, in I guess this game ch uh, changes, I can't wait to see uh, kind of how that plays out, okay, nothing new has popped up, actually, let's see what happens to uh, Niger here, oh man, that's too bad, I mean, they really don't have to worry about Chad and, and, and Nigeria, they're, they should be okay, but they're, you know, they're fighting in this war by themselves. Who knows? Who knows? They are beginning to be sieged out now. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, China just ate an entire country. They practically ate an entire country, which also limits the expansion that India can do. Now, if India wants to expand, they've got to go towards their northwest. Uh, and, and that's kind of where the Iranians, the, the Persians are trying to expand towards. So... Mm, there might be uh, an interesting race of power here because all this this is a, this is a complete mess This is a big big mess is Mongolia aligned to anybody. I'm wondering if anyone's gonna attack Mongolia I wonder if Russia or China will someone will bite, uh, bite the bullet Maybe Kazakhstan. No Kazakhstan technically can't kind of I'm not sure if they need a core right next to him, but yeah, no, they can't really go after him How's Australia doing? Uh, yeah, I didn't think that they had really oh, you know what? Uh, is, is, is Australia allied to anybody? No. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought they'd be allied to somebody right by now. But I guess, I totally guess not. Is this a, where is, oh, they have rebels. Oh, jeez. Now, there's, there's Great Britain, like, a little, uh, island out here. I always forget about this small island that Yemen controls. Gotta keep that, uh, keep an eye on that, because I imagine that maybe Somalia could be going for it. Possibly. Maybe possibly soon. Uh, Cuba at war with the Dominican Republic. Okay, so, oh, and, and again, Cuba's gotten France on their side, so they must be allied, because that's the second time. Yeah, that's an interesting alliance there. Uh, the Europeans are really getting up alliances, all, all sorts of different alliances. So so this might be Cuba. What what, what the islands of, of, the so of South uh, Asia are doing, and as they're kind of continuing to unify, I think we might see that with Cuba. Maybe. I mean, yeah, Cuba's already here. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't think I, I noticed these extra bigger bars, I think, for 1.13. Uh, oh, but, you, yeah, Dominican Republic were the attacker. They're going to get kicked back there, uh, even though Cuba only had 4,000 men. We'll have to wait and see. Is America going to allow this to happen? You see, this is what I think. I think the same thing that happened to Mexico is going to happen to Cuba. I think Cuba might end up getting a little bit of power, you know, gathering up some, some strength here and there, and then, uh, and then America might go in there and just boom. Slap them back down. I, I might, maybe. Who knows? It depends. It, it might be just another European, though. Uh, there are several other Europeans. Well, I guess besides France, but Great Britain could possibly be involved in that. Um, yeah, France controls most of the stuff out this way. So I guess it would pretty much only be Great Britain. More than likely, it'd be the USA, though. More than likely, it it, it would have to be probably the USA. And uh, Canada, USA, still liking each other. Does Canada have any other alliances? Nope. No, they don't. They're letting it go. They're gonna, they're gonna allow that. China's now going after Thailand. Wow, they are not afraid to expand really fast here. Uh, they're also having to take on Cambodia, but I mean that's that's nothing for China right now. All right, so if you pick China to win Asia, to, to win Asia, then you're you're looking pretty good uh, because they have just done some major expansion in this video. This is only video three, uh, and you're talking about some major blobbing out here. I mean, Thailand's technically still alive, but I think Vietnam might be next. I'm assuming if they were to declare war on anybody else, it'd be Vietnam next. China only allied to North Korea still. And uh, is South Korea allied to anybody? Because there's got to be a reason why South Korea is still around. North Korea would have declared war. They're not. They're not allied to anybody. North Korea, sh I, you, usually, usually in these extended timelines, present day extended timelines, I mean, South Korea is gone, like almost instantly. Uh, North Korea always declares war pretty fast. I expected it might be like an alliance that would be protecting them, but no, it's not. It's totally not. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Kazakhstan uh, versus some of these minor nations. It's just Kazakhstan by themselves. Oh, wow. 
And uh, actually, Kazakhstan's doing pretty well for themselves. Uh, any more? Na no, nothing. Nothing new's popped up. Nothing new. Is anyone allied to? Uh, oh, that's, this is Palestine. Whoops, Palestine. Oh my gosh, is Israel gone? Yes, it is. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Those colors are really similar. Okay, I got. I I was like, what? How did we miss that? Israel's right now allied to Syria. That is. Uh, that is interesting. That that's a <laughs> that's an interesting one. Okay. Uh oh, Algeria. My pick for Africa to win. I mean, they've got some allies involved with them, but but Mali and uh, and Sengal are, are here. They're starting to siege things out in the, the northern part in these northern regions. Somalia is at well, back at war with Yemen. Okay, got to keep an eye on there too. Uh, Iraq is in their first war. Okay. Oh, teaming up with Iran. Yep, that's that's going to be pretty one-sided. Oh, it's already over, isn't it? Is it really? Oh, they're going after these guys. Oh, that's messed up. Yep, they already took them over. Wow, that was fast. Okay, yeah, that was uh, that was just messed up. How's China? China's doing fine. What was the one that I wanted to check in on? Oh my gosh, I'm totally... Oh yeah, Somalia and Yemen. Yeah, Somalia and, and, and Yemen, that, that'll be an interesting one. Because if Somalia lands... I, I mean, that's an African nation. This would be a great way for this African nation to expand. You know, just expand away from Africa. Uh, continue after Yemen, continue after the southern part of the Arabian Peninsula. This is what I thought Ethiopia should do. Uh, unfortunately, they don't, they don't start with a coastal city or a coastal province, so, you know, they were in a tough spot. Um, but, yeah, no, Ethiopia's going to have to do something. They've got some nice alliances, though. Dang, they got some really nice alliances. So, I mean, that's one, I guess, good thing. Africa's in quite a few wars. Wow, okay. So, uh, there's been a, some few provinces eaten here and there. Algeria seems to be doing fine. Look at this. Look at Egypt grabbing one province, Fez, away from Morocco. Oh my goodness, and Spain as well. When did Spain grab that province? Okay, so Morocco might completely fall. Uh, Morocco's not in a good spot, and part of the reason is they don't have any alliances. Algeria does. Uh, Algeria has some very interesting alliances, including France, which is important. Dang, look at France. Oh my goodness, the blobbing is just uncontrollable right now. I thought, you know, this, this mod must have changed drastically, because back in the day... Back in the day when this mod first came out, I'm just talking about, I, I, in, when I say this mod, I'm not talking about just the extended timeline uh, mod. I'm talking about this scenario in, this, in the extended timeline mod, the uh, present day scenario. I'm not used to seeing this much expansion, this much, you know, aggressiveness. And it's only been a few years. Like, what, what are we going to expect by, you know, 2100? You know, and we're going 300 years in the future, and I can't even imagine what's going to happen in 70 years. Uh, I imagine France is probably going to eat up Belgium and Netherlands and the Netherlands. Uh, maybe go after a few more. I mean, someone's going to take out Switzerland soon. Italy also uh, was expansive in the very beginning. Did they uh, did they receive much aggressive expansion from this? They did not, and that is why. Yep, I'm pretty sure that is why. Very interesting. Wow, so this campaign is going to be even more fascinating than I thought. Uh, I was worried that there wouldn't be as much... Uh... Oh, look at that, Brazil. Grabbing a little chunk out of, I believe this was Uruguay. I think Uruguay was complete, completely here. Argentina did the same thing, I think, too. Um, I, I'd be able to check if, because those cores don't go away until, like, you know, 50 years. So I'll be able to use this method for a while. Oh, you know what? Maybe this was always a part of, uh, maybe this has always been a part. Yeah. Oh, this was actually Argentina cutting off Brazil. Wow. Okay. Dang. Argentina, maybe maybe going after that that South American spot. If you picked Argentina, which I know a few of you guys did, uh, then this is going to be interesting. Iceland. Hmm. Iceland's not allied to anybody. That would be kind of fascinating to watch Iceland see what they do. Might be able to ally to Denmark here. They should probably ally to Denmark. Figure out something to do with Ireland. Well, how's, how's Ireland doing? How's Great Britain doing? I mean, they really haven't done much besides expanding into Morocco, which is which is a good call. It's a very, very good call. Uh, Egypt's at war with Iraq, and they're not doing well. Uh, Syria, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia are joining in. Lebanon and uh, Iran are joining in for Iraq. So, I mean, yeah, they're pushing them back pretty hardcore here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No way. Russia's involved in a huge war with the Europeans. Oh my goodness, and it's just Russia by themselves. You're talking about uh, multiple nations from Europe, from the Balkans, uh, from, the, from Scandinavia, Germany, Ukraine. Wow. 
Uh, but is this going to be enough? Will that be enough? I mean, you're, you, I see a few sieges. I do, I do see a few sieges that are going on. South Africa is also facing um, some nations, Sweden and Lithuania, as well as Finland. So Finland and, and Sweden might have their hands full with Lithuania. Well, I mean, maybe not hands full, but they might be a little bit distracted. Venezuela uh, going after some islands in the Caribbean. Uh, yeah, so they might be kind of distracted for a little bit. Now, it looks like Russia is trying their best to gather up a, a force here to push back the Europeans in their west. This is going to be a tough, tough decision, though. Uh, and technically, Iran, well, Iran's distracted. That's right. They're in their own Middle Eastern war, uh, teaming up with Iraq and, uh, and Lebanon against Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt. So, yeah, they're going to be, uh, they're, they, they have their hands full. I mean, technically, maybe China could do something. China's been trying to expand, and we have seen aggressiveness from China, so it is possible. China hasn't gone after anything else in the South just yet. Philippines are starting to get eaten away. Oh, man. Yep, those the Philippines starting to really get eaten away. I saw New Zealand took over Fiji. And that's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. Not good, but interesting. Like I just did, I didn't expect that. I, I figured there was going to be nothing. Initially, when I started the series, I didn't think New Zealand and, and Australia would, would. I didn't think they would do anything. But over the break, I realized that definitely Australia has a chance. Now, I'm, I guess you know clearly New Zealand does too. Uh, they can expand in the Pacific and grab a few of those islands. I mean, there's a lot of islands out there, and uh, they're usually connected. So I mean, that's a positive. Wow. So where is uh, Moscow at? I believe if we clicked on Russia and go to their flag. Oh, there it is. Um, this is their, is this their capital? Oh, oh, wait a second. What? I'm confused. Oh, this must be the province where Moscow is. I imagine. Maybe. Maybe I'm smoking crack. I don't know. But look, they've got a hold of the capital. I mean, that's that's where the big money comes from. That's the Well, I guess I should say the big the big war score. Now, was that an aggressive war from Russia? Yes, it was. Uh, I saw Pakistan just got invo involved in something. I thought I saw their name. Yes. Uh, Pakistan's trying to reclaim Punjab, 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 the Punjab, Punjab, there we go, Punjab, but they have negative 40 war score, how is that going, what, what, how, how is the, how is Punjab doing so well, they were, they were one province minor, I don't know, but I, I maybe, I, I have no idea, was it India, did India get involved somehow, no, okay, never mind, so Punjab's doing a pretty good job, <laughs> I, that was no no pun intended there. No pun intended at all. Uh, Iran's not doing so well now. You have many, a lot of Egyptians sieging out the northern part of uh, the Iranians' nation. Is will Russia lose anything here? See, a big thing is you know the Scandinavian countries. Wow, and actually they're not doing so well because Lithuania managed to land uh, quite quite a huge force sieging out multiple provinces in this area. Wow, Lithuania. Now that's impressive, man. This is this is insane. You got to continue to like relook at some of this stuff because uh, relook at you know the flags and the wars that are going on because it's just so many new things are popping up all the time. Czech Republic at war with Slovakia. Slovakia. I don't know why I said that's so weird. Uh, is Finland still in war? Th they're war with Russia. They are technically, so they're not. They don't longer have to worry about Lithuania. So they can help out against Russia technically, and they are. There's actually no. That's Bulgaria. Oh, they have very similar colors or a very similar flag to uh, Finland. Uh oh. Oh no no no. Oh, that's this is bad for the Europeans. This is very bad. So you're talking about Russia pushing pushing back very hard. I I don't see any of the Europeans anymore. I knew that. I figured Germany wasn't going to be doing much. Whoa, Germany also expanding into southern Denmark. Denmark I might get going to push back to exclusively uh, Greenland. It is possible. Now, what is the USA doing? Nothing. They're abs they're not doing absolutely anything. So Argentina, this is going to be very interesting. South America is going to be a fascinating continent, continent to watch out for because uh, you have Argentina, uh, who is kind of the, the other main power to Brazil, allied to Peru and Colombia, whereas Brazil allied to Chile, Bolivia, Venezuela, uh, Ecuador. I mean, it seems to be somewhat, somewhat even, kind of even. Uh, let's see. I mean, if, if, some, if one can get France in on their side, then yeah, that would be big. Uh, well, I guess technically, maybe Argentina, Colombia, because Colombia is allied to France, so maybe that could be some sort of method. What do we got here? Tur Afghanistan involved in another war with Tur Tur Turk Turkmenistan, uh, and also bringing down Kazakhstan. Argentina with Colombia. Oh, wow. 
Bolivia. So yeah, and Brazil. So it, it just started up. It just started up. All right, guys, I'm going to stop right there. This is so much fun. Again, I apologize. I know I'm missing wars, and I know that we're going to continue to discover things. Uh, and uh, so I, I will be, like I said, reading the comment section, making sure that I know uh, some of the things that you guys pick up on. And I do these in blocks, so I don't do them. I, I won't I, I usually don't pick them up right away, uh, so you know I, I apologize in advance that I won't pick up your comments right away. But I, I shoot them in blocks, so you'll see it soon uh, if, if I'm missing out on a certain province. But I don't think I've missed it on too, too, anything too big at the moment. Uh, whoa, Finland's out of the war, and actually they grabbed something away. Yes, they did. Russia grabbed something away from Finland. I don't think I missed anything too big at the moment, but uh, I'm sure I will in the future for sure. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in part four.